Hello everyone, this is the Starving Martian and today we begin our look at Mars Attacks The Revenge. This is uh, to date the most recent Mars Attacks card series put out by Topps and uh, you know ordering this series is what inspired me to go ahead and review every single Mars Attacks card series as I have been doing the past few months. And so we've looked more or less chronologically at um, all of the Mars Attacks trading cards uh, in the series, in the main series at least. Um, there's some more expensive cards, some subsets, and some uh, collector's cards, some stuff put out for, um, you know, conventions and whatnot, or um, uh, included in model kits. There's a lot of uh, cards out there that I don't have, but as far as the main sets go, we've, we've seen them all. We've seen them all, and um, and now we begin the last, so far, Mars Attacks The Revenge. And I'd be lying if I didn't say it's a little emotional here. The end of an era, but we know these Martians, they keep coming back, so hopefully this will not be the final card set um, available. Alright, so, a little um, <clears throat> history on Mars Attacks The Revenge before we get into the cards proper. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the box, um, collector box, says right in the corner, that uh, mine came in. It says 149 total cards. The um, card set is actually, um, uh, it's a 55 card set. Um, just like the original Mars Attacks from 1962. And um, what they do is there's... Um, one whole set of regular cards and one whole set of sketch cards, which I'll get into in a minute. But uh, really, there's only 55 cards in the set. If you order it um, on eBay, most sellers seem to pop it in this box for you, which is nice. It's a really nice box. It's got great artwork of the Martian there. There he is. And here we have a Martian riding this kind of mutant dog thing. And um, even some artwork on the bottom, which is nice. Mars Attacks UPC codes. Alright, so that's the box that comes with the um, card set. Um, if, if your local comic or card shop doesn't carry these, eBay is your best bet. I got this for like 20 bucks or less. Um which I thought was a really good deal. So uh, so there you go. But do you want to buy these cards? Do you want them on your shelf? Do you need them in your collection? Let's take a look at the cards proper and find out. All right. So. Um, this set is the first proper sequel to uh, the first Mars Attacks trading cards. And I know we've gone through a lot of card sets, and that sounds kind of weird, but uh, but it's true. They've all been uh, reinterpretations, reimaginings, um, you know, uh, set in modern times and everything like that. And so this is the first card set that follows up the events of um, of the original, and um, they've kept themselves slavishly attached to the design of the original cards. So if all you have is the first 55 cards from 1962 and this, it'll be one continuing card set, um, even though it starts back off at number one. Um, let me show you what I mean. Here you have the first card of Mars Attacks the Revenge. You see it's got um, Martian artwork, it's got um, white border, it's got a black band with uh, yellow lettering and a uh, red UFO. And here is the first card of the original set. All right. And a little bit side by side. Not only the fronts of the cards, but the backs as well. You can see the, um, you know, all the more recent cards have been on um, heavier card stock with... Um, you know, glossy backings and everything. This goes back to the style of cards uh, back in the day. 
So it's got that uh, orangey brown finish to it. It's got your description of what's going on. And then C card number two with a little picture in the corner. Again, the back of card number one from the original oops, card set. And exactly the same format. So if like the original card set is the only one you know, the only one you like, the only one you love, um, this is the card set for you. Uh, personally, I was a little bit disappointed that we never finished the storyline from uh, Mars Attacks Invasion and Occupation, but um, it is what it is. As I said, those were uh, Kickstarter projects. Those had a lot more um, added bonuses, um, subsets, uh, collector cards, uh, rare chase cards, that sort of thing. And I can't help but wonder if they just haven't been meeting their uh, Kickstarter goals and this was a uh, cheaper set to go by. Now, the sketch cards, I mentioned there is a sketch card. Okay, so this is the card number one. Here is the sketch card for card number one. And it comes with one of these if you order it as a set. Um, you'll probably get one of these for every single card. These I'm not really crazy about. I mean, I guess they're nice to have, but... Um, Aside from being in black and white, the art's not different. You don't see, you know, there's, there's no changes or revisions. It's just the same card except in coloring book format. And to me, it seems like there's they wanted to make 55 cards like the original set, but they wanted to, like, inflate their, their total card count. And um, so I don't even have most of these displayed in my album. Uh, I have them inside of that collector box that you already saw. So, you know... If you're into this sort of thing, that's good enough for me. Uh, they're kind of a waste of cardboard. But that's, so we're not going to be looking at those. So this is card one, Mars Destroyed. And let's, let's back our uh, trolley up for just one second. We're going to look at card 54, the last story card of um, the first Mars Attacks trading card set. Ends with Mars Explodes. The reason I point this out is because th this is where the story picks up. Um, oddly, Mars was going to explode anyway. If you've ever looked at the um, trading cards from 1962, the reason Mars invaded was because Mars only had like a couple weeks before uh, it was going to blow up and the Martians needed somewhere else to live. They said, uh, you know, nice planet, we'll take it. So... Um, so at the end of the card series, the Earthlings go and they blow up Mars, which should accomplish nothing because Mars was about to blow up anyway. Of course, Earthlings couldn't have foreseen that, but regardless. So Mars explodes in um, card number 54, and now Mars is destroyed, and I just, you can't help but feel for these Martians on this card. I, I want to give them a hug. Look at, look at how sad they are. And I don't know if they were unaware that their planet was going to explode. I don't know if this is something the general Martian public knew or not. But uh, boy, oh boy, do they hold Earth responsible. So, um, so what happens after Mars is destroyed? Well, the story continues on card number two, the tractor beam. So one of the problems I have with Mars Attacks, the revenge. Some of these cards are kind of boring. Yeah, there, there's no robots, there's no insects, there's no Martians, this, this could be anything. But the idea here is that um, without Mars, the solar system slightly out of whack and uh, gravitational pull and everything, uh, scientists determined that there needs to be something there. So they use a tractor beam to pull a new Mars into orbit, hence card three, into Mars's orbit. Unfortunately, what humanity doesn't know is that not all the Martians were killed when Mars exploded. Uh, apparently, there were a bunch of them scattered throughout the uh, solar system on um, different uh, refuge planetoids. And um, now it's time to repopulate, to move to the new Mars, landing on Mars 2, to start all over again and to plot their eventual revenge. And so here's compatible atmosphere. So the new Mars is, um, you know, good job, Earth scientists. You gave the Martians exactly what they need to come down and kill you someday. <laughs> of 
cleaning up the cities. Uh, this card isn't, or this card, this series isn't big on the giant insects. But you do get a couple shots of uh, their giant insect carcasses. And I don't know where you would dump those. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of rebuilding to do on Mars. There's a lot of rebuilding to do on Earth. Before the two groups can meet again, here's some rebuilding on Mars. New Martian factories. And if you're familiar with the Mars Attacks cards at all, you could see the um, robot army being reassembled here. In fact, our next card is rebuilding the robot army. And I love that robot. If you followed me through uh, this series, you know that I do appreciate the classic design on the Mars Attacks robots. Card 9 is UFO Sightings. So, uh, the Martians start to make some reconnaissance work. You know, how's Earth getting along? And that, that dog does not have long to live. Martians and dogs, man, I tell you. Next up is the Complacent Human Race. Now, um, the original card series came out in 1962, more or less takes place in 1962. It's just assumed to be, quote, unquote, the present day. These cards take place in the late 60s. Uh, humanity rebuilds fairly quickly and uh, moves on. Um, and so um, we move from the idyllic, like, just getting out of the, um, hmm, out of the 50s kind of era of the uh, first card set. Because the first few de um, uh, years of the 60s really just kind of felt like the 50s extended. But um, for these cards, I actually talk about social events that were happening at the time. Like the Beatles become a thing, so they weren't killed in the invasion. It's, it's a little odd. You know, you know what it reminds me of is the um, shift in time frames from uh, Destroy All Humans to Destroy All Humans 2. Card 11, Alien Abduction. And why are uh, the Martians abducting humans? Why for Martian experiments, of course. <laughs> I do like this card very much. <clears throat> uh, the artist on this card, whose name I do not know, um, did an excellent job capturing the look of the Martians. And these cards where you get a um, close-up of their face and their huge beady eyes, you know. Uh, this, this, is, this is art. I like this very much. And the poor screaming guy in the background with his uh, head attached to his body by these cables. Beautiful. What's not beautiful is card number 13, the human abomination. I love these uh, experiments the Martians do that can't possibly help them out at all whatsoever. But it's like, eh, why not? Subjects of experiments... Uh, I guess the tractor beam just couldn't hold this one for long. And we will end part one with card 15, Studying the Human Face. That's nice and gory for you. If you like Mars Attacks for the gore factor, this card set will make you happy. So we have a Martian removing a human's face. Why would he do that? Well, they're Martians, do they need a reason? But there actually is a reason. It's part of their invasion, it's part of their revenge, and we will uh, move on to that next time around when we continue our look at Mars Attacks, the revenge. Guys, I know that I spent uh, over 14 minutes looking at only 15 cards, but I um, wanted to give you a sense of um, where this card set is coming from, what it's based on. So um, I imagine the, we're going to take full uh, three parts to do this, but... It'll be worth it. So thanks very much, guys, for sticking through all these Mars Attacks trading cards. If you missed any, just uh, click on my name, The Starving Martian. You'll find Mars Attacks the trading cards. Got a whole playlist of them. Until next time, guys, keep watching the skies.